Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button so that you never miss an upload. And if you're not new to this, but you're true to this, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. In today's video, I will be reviewing some Sephora branded products. Um, I recently ran out of like every makeup product that I own, like primer, setting spray, concealer, everything. Everything essential to me doing my makeup every day. And so I went to Sephora and instead of getting um, <clears throat> my usual things, um, I was like, I'm gonna give um, the Sephora Beauty Amplifier brand a try and see how it works for me. Because if it works, it is much cheaper than some of the other products that I use. So I can save a few coins. However, let's get right into it. So today's video, I'll be reviewing the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Setting Spray, the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Smoothing Primer, the Sephora <laughs> Beauty Amplifier Eyeshadow Primer, and the Sephora Make No Mistake High Coverage Concealer. I have been using these products for about a week now, and I really haven't paid much, much, much attention to how they work just because I usually just wear my makeup like to go to work again when I'm at work. Sometimes it gets so busy that I just can't focus in on my makeup at any given moment. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna try to really pay attention to how these products are working for me, especially because if they do work, I will continue to purchase them. So at the end of this video, or by the end of this video, I'll do a wear test for you guys. It is 6.25 right now, I've just done my makeup. So I'll check back in throughout the day or later on tonight once I get home to let you know how my makeup is looking and how I feel about how my makeup is looking. But first, I'm gonna give you a brief description of these products. So the first one is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Set and Refresh Spray. Now this can be used to set your makeup and it can also be used to refresh your makeup throughout the day. I do not take it with me, so I only use it one time in the morning um, to set my foundation before like, blending it all in again once i finish doing my whole face to set my whole face it's something that i learned to do watching jackie Aina. but um i don't know how i feel about it <laughs> but yeah so it's just a setting spray um the last setting spray i had was the morphe setting spray and that one i feel like was more of a i don't know how to explain it like a sheen kind of consistency like um, almost like hairspray consistency, whereas this one is more like traditional setting spray. <clears throat> and I prefer the consistency of the Morphe setting spray. So I don't know if this has been working well enough for me to continue to use it versus the setting spray, just because the difference in how they come out is are so different and I prefer the other. So this is gonna have to be like superbomb.com for me to switch over to this for my Morphe setting spray. Okay, the next thing is my Sephora Beauty Amplifier Eyeshadow Primer. I have been using this for a while. I usually use it in conjunction with um, my concealer when I prime my eyelids for my eyeshadow. However, for the sake of this video, the past couple days, I have just been using it alone just to see um, how my eyeshadow sits and lasts throughout the day with just this product, just so that I don't confuse you guys with the results of this versus the results of this plus a concealer. But it works pretty well, it's not super thick. Um, it works pretty well thus far. So I don't have any complaints. Um, the next thing is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Smooth, Ultra Smoothing Primer and it, I like it. It's kind of like a gel consistency, um, but not very thick. I did try a different Sephora primer that I absolutely love. It was the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Gel Matte Primer or something like that. And that was the bomb. Like as I was applying it, I could feel it like snatch my pores together. But this is a little bit different. The consistency is a little more watery and I really feel like it, it it feels oily to me and I don't know how I feel about them because I have very very oily skin so I'm not into putting oil on oil when I'm really trying to get rid of the oil to begin with so 
I'm not, I'm not knowing how I feel about this. I do feel like it makes my face appear to be smoother under my makeup because um, previously I was wanting a primer or something. I didn't know what I needed, but I felt like my makeup looked grainy and I hated it, especially when I saw some people and their makeup look like smooth as butter. I don't know if it's like the difference in our pores or the difference in our skin texture or what, but I feel like this product could get me that that smooth look. However, I don't think it can control um, like the oils in my face and keep those from seeping out throughout the day. I don't know, but we'll see. And then the last thing is this Sephora Make No Mistake Full Coverage High Coverage Concealer. And when I say full coverage, high coverage, it is full coverage, high coverage, period. No mistake about it. And when I bought it, I knew it was gonna be full coverage, but I guess the uh, concealers that I was using previously were not full coverage because this is totally different than any concealer I've ever used. And I literally only use my concealer for my under eyes and it is so thick. It is so thick. I could literally put one drop and it'll smooth like, it'll blend like all under my eye. It's so much. And I made the mistake of like trying to use it how I was using my other concealer. They were much more watery, um, probably definitely not full coverage. And I was literally like blending for days because it was so full coverage. And so I think that, that this is awesome. I definitely might continue to purchase this However, it is kind of heavy, I feel like, for under eye. And I feel it when I put it on, just for, not for under eye, but for everyday use. So, I may get something a little different, but as you can see, the bags under my eyes are heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And they usually look so bad. Like, one day I did my makeup and I did not um, conceal <laughs> under my eyes. And Trevor was like, it's not to punch you in the face. Like, this is how dark the circles under my eyes are. So, this works perfect for that reason. I just don't know if I need such full coverage on an everyday basis. However, this is just my, a brief, 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 brief review of those products um, and how I feel about them. Um, so, just stay tuned. I will update you guys throughout the day about how... Um, I feel as the day goes on and then I'll hop back on at the end of the video to give you my final review of the product. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please stay tuned and hit that like button if you like what you see thus far and comment down below. What is your favorite setting spray? What is your favorite concealer? What is your favorite primer? Especially if you have oily skin because I have oily skin and I need help sis. Help me sis. So leave those comments down below. I gotta go y'all because I'm gonna be late for work trying to make this video for you. I still gotta get my kids ready, but if you're interested, just stay tuned and I'll update you guys again soon. Okay, you guys, so this is update number one of the day. It is 9.39. My makeup still looks pretty decent. Um, my nose is starting to get oily as you can see. But for the most part, everything still looks pretty good. I'll check back in with you guys shortly. Okay, you guys. So it is much later in the day. It is 2.25. I think my makeup still looks pretty decent. Doesn't quite look as snatched as it looked this morning. But it doesn't look too bad to me. Um, my nose and my T-zone is oily as usual. But... Alright you guys, it is later on in the day. Everything is still looking good. I'm getting kind of shiny around my face, but no major complaints. Okay guys, so I've gotten off work. Sorry you hear Maddox fuss in the background. He doesn't like to ride in the car. But it is 6.48 and I just got home. I think my makeup still looks pretty good. I'm not sure how... I don't know what I'm trying to say. But it looks pretty good to me. My nose is definitely pretty oily. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like oily. And then, like, if I touch something, it'll, like, transfer. But my face is still isn't as oily, but it still has some transfer. But I don't know. I'm going to be very surprised when I find, like, the perfect product that, that I have no transfer with at all. So. 